coach. Commitment and communication are just, Kevin, as you know, so critical. Mm -hmm. You have to earn your buckets tonight. Yes, good point. So Golden State will get the first possession. We've got a chance here to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this one. So on the floor for Memphis. Conley and Allen working once again together in the backcourt. Carter is out there with Green. And it's Gasol and at the center position. Lock at six. Pachulia, good. Pachulia's got the first basket of the game for the Warriors. I mean, the game's premier shooter. Sometimes Curry doesn't get enough credit for his passing. Gasol a screen. Outside, Green. Good looking screen by Gasol. And Green gets it to go. Green's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Oh, we've seen him posterize guys with that move many times. However, the defense proved to be very stifling. Memphis moving that ball around. Allen passes to Conley. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. It's Gasol missing. Here's Golden State. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies and came away with a win. And whether by design or by accident, they drew so many fouls in that game. Foul trouble for the other side became a huge issue. Well, even more important was who was fouling. The other team barely had their starters in the game. They were all sitting on the bench. Takes what the defense allows. Has that soft floater in his back pocket. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Oh, the highest shot release, quick trigger. Thompson able to drain that one with the hand in his face. Outside Conley. Pass to Allen. Here's Gasol. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And the one thing you can't speak enough about, Chris, with this Warriors team is they are just an offensive team. They have one of the toughest defenses in the league, too. Well, just look at their rosters. Defenders at every position. And it isn't just defenders that can slow down one position. They have guys like Clay and Draymond who can guard multiple positions. That means you can switch. The versatility allows them to match up with anyone while throwing out their small ball lineups. They throw good, Gasol. Both shots good from the strike. Not your run of the mill big man from the line. This guy can stroke. To the inside. Outside for Curry. There's McCaw. Off target with his three. Grizzlies have gone two or three here to start out the game. Curry against Conley. Outside Gasol. Gasol can't get that one to fall. Warriors trail by three. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Nailed from three-point land. I mean, you feel like Clay could hit these shots blindfolded. It's such a great sense of where he is on the court at all times. Gasol is screen on Kerr. To the middle. Ball's knocked loose. Julia with the steal. Curry against Conley. McCall. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. And how about the explosiveness he shows going from the offensive to the defensive end in a blink? Allen dishes to Conley. Here's Green. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here.
Memphis shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Yeah, looking over their percentage on the season, I think they will be thrilled with the number in terms of their free throw percentage, 79. And the first one drops. And the Grizzlies, one of the top contenders in the West for a number of years, now at a bit of a crossroads. What do you think? Yeah, every team goes through this. There's a certain life cycle to any roster. The, the good news for the Grizzlies fans is that their front office has been right more often than not. We'll see if they can continue to pull another rabbit out of their head. And both free throws good for Green. Golden State's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And Thompson kicks to Kurt. With some arc, and it's good on the layup. Curry's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, and that's the floater Curry has perfected. I mean, difficult for the defense to predict exactly when he's going to use it. Gasol is screen on Curry. Conley, the pass to Gasol. Call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And some teams really struggling with injuries right now. Just how important, Chris, is depth to a team at this time of the year? You know, depth is really important to a team, but, but even more so because of this reason. When you have guys hurt, what that allows is guys on the bench to get more playing time. And when they get more playing time and you get those injured players back, you know what? Those guys that were filling in, now they have experience, now they got a rhythm, and your bench may be stronger for it. That's an excellent point. And the Warriors making a change here. West is checked in. Good on the second free throw. Chris, you look at this Warriors roster, there are a lot of unique players at every position. Oh, yeah, I get what you were saying, and it makes total sense when you look at their personnel. Guys like Draymond, you never see as a functioning point power forward. Curry's unique in how he plays the point and his shooting. The list goes on with guys like Iguodala, too. Grizzlies trail by four. Conley with it. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Gasol dishes to Conley. West with the block. He's got to take a look at the steal numbers over the last uh, couple months. The scope of that for Green. I feel like he hasn't been paying as much attention to the defensive aspect of the game as he needs to. His steals have dropped over the past few months, and he needs to get back some of that fire on D. Memphis shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And that one misses. Second free throw, good. Warriors leading by three. Outside Curry. Kicks to Thompson. West a screen on Allen. Here's Thompson. That shot off. Some solid defense from Gasol. The dish to Conley. Outside Green. There's a screen. Feeds it to Allen. Shot off the pick. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Two shots, gentlemen. Two. The Grizzlies have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. And 
and he makes the first. Drops them both. The Warriors have gone six of ten from the field in this ball game. Green with a screen on Conley. The pass to McCaw for the three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. McCaw has got five. Oh, he's shooting a fantastic mark from the field to begin this one. The Grizzlies trail by four. Conley kicks to Green. The feed to Allen. And another miss by Memphis. And that's a well-contested shot. Solid defense. They weren't going anywhere against them there. Green, the screen. Six to shoot. Dishes it to Thompson. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Memphis. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. And you don't have to go too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost that one. They just had an inability on that day to make shots. Right. And, and that happens. You can run the sets you normally do, but the ball just won't fall through the net. On to the next. Andre Igudala was checked in for Golden State. Zach Randolph's checked in for Memphis. Here's Gasol. Rest with the block. On the wing, Thompson. Defended by Allen. Thompson passes to Green. Count that one. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Here's Carter. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Carter's got his second basket. Talk about leading your target perfectly. Nice assist. Curry against Conley. Curry dishes to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. And the stuff by West. Oh, and with the fast eyes, Iguodala finding the open man. The Grizzlies trail by six. Now, Andre Iguodala, he was my rookie back with Philly. I saw how hard he worked to fulfill his potential. There was a time when Andre Iguodala was the number one option on an offense. You have to give him credit for accepting a smaller role to be part of something special with this team. He has seen his numbers in scoring dip, but the wins have gone through the roof for him. He relishes the role of being the wingman who is there to compliment and help set up others. Good looking screen by Gasol. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. Here's Allen. Up and in on the way up. Man, he's in attack mode, crashing the glass. Then goes right back up with him. Warriors leading by six. Curry kicks to Green. He dishes it to Thompson. There's the pick. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And just about everything regarding Andre Iguodala is about team first. Well, you can't forget how superb his defense still is. But you are dead on with this team first attitude. He walks the walk and is respected as a leader because of his unselfish nature. Not many players in the NBA can swallow their pride like he has done. That free throw good from West. And the Warriors with some changes. Barnes, he's checked in for Green. Ian Clark comes in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Then for the Grizzlies, James Ennis, he'll check in for Carter. Troy Daniels comes in for Tony Allen. And it's Harrison in for Mike Conley. And David West drops them both. Well, Chris, we have a question for you sent in from one of our fans from uh, Todd up in New Hampshire. They want to know what your favorite moment was as an NBA player. A question I'm also curious to know about. 
Wow. My favorite moment as an NBA player, very honestly, I would say, uh, would be the day of being drafted. I mean, um, you know, after then, you have so many great moments, uh, so many players that you play with, that you love to play with. It's hard to separate anything without disrespecting another moment. So I, I just really feel that the, the greatest moment of my career was stepping on that stage uh, in Detroit at the Palace in my hometown um, with my finger up and just knowing that I made it. You know, for all of us, the goal is to make it. It's not about to be a Hall of Famer. It's not about to be an All-Star. It's not about to win a championship, even though those are dreams. But you can't do it until, <laughs> you know, you make it. And so uh, for me, um, putting that suit on, seeing my father, uh, shed tears, uh, you know, seeing my mother's eyes and, and the yeah. twinkle she had in her eyes, seeing my brothers and my three brothers and my sister, how happy they were, you know, that definitely was the moment because it was a family moment and um, it was for Detroit, and so uh, it was special. Well said. Just doing the job on the backboard. West draws the double. Barnes up top. Shot clock at six. No good from Clark. The Grizzlies trail by six. This one for three. He can't hit that job. He could not have been more wide open. I'm sure he's kicking himself from this now. Over in the corner, Livingston. Passes it to Clark. Rest outside from 20 feet out. And Gasol sends it back. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. JaVale McGee's check in for David West. <laughs> Memphis has gone a meager one of six from three point land since we got started tonight. Pass to Daniels. He feeds it to Gasol, and it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. For Memphis, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. That free throw, no good. Chris, who are some of the top defenders in the NBA? Oh, well, I, I have to think you would, you would start with Kawhi Leonard, a uh, yes. two-time defensive player of the year. Don't forget about uh, Tony Allen. How about Draymond Green? Uh, yes. Those guys just, just locked down uh, the defenders. Avery Bradley. Yes. Uh, those are guys I think of when I think of lockdown defenders. Takes mm -hmm. it out to Igudala. out. McGee is screen. Iguodala, the pass to McGee, hits the close-range jumper. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Pass to Gasol from the baseline. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Gasol's got nine. Warriors leading by five. 130 left in the first quarter. Over to the left wing. And that one's good by Clark. Oh, and a nice look by Livingston. Keeping his eyes up. Locates the man. There's Harrison. He's covered by Livingston. Kicks it to Gasol. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. He's got 12. And how about that, responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. I like that style. Lose three points, get them right back at the other end. That's good basketball. And the dunk by Barnes. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. But it's surprising, care to see so little urgency on the defensive side, especially with them losing this game right now. They hold the early advantage on the glass. 
There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Right, he's checked in for Marcus Gasol. The Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. I mean, let's just think about this. The, the remarkable player he is. I mean, coming off of these injuries. I mean, Livingston, he's, he's overcome so many injuries. It's been great to see him make it back and contribute at a high level. He kicks it to Clark. Golden State moving it around. The dish to McGee unloads from 13. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Iguodala outside and out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. Six seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Harrison. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. Now that's just length and wingspan. I mean, Livingston able to succeed defensively despite his lack of strip. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Warriors lead by 10. And we'll be back. And Steph Curry, a player with him. I mean, we're five, six feet outside that three-point line if I have a drill. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. I mean, he is just an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this Splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Well, I tell you what, the scoring has come in threes for the most part here so far. Yeah, yeah, and at some point, you think the defense would, would extend out and try to run these guys off their spots or at least make them shoot a little earlier than they'd like. So on the four for Memphis, they've got Wright. Conley out there with Zach Randolph. And it's Daniels in at the two. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, the Grizzlies are starting to show their age a little bit. Last season was an example of that, but they still have that throwback style of play that's hard to gauge. Mark Gasol said, the game is evolving, and we as players and as a team have to evolve. We have to change things and adjust. You need tweaks and counters from game to game and year to year. Kevin? All right, DA, they know they needed more shooting. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Left side, Randolph. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And it goes on Draymond Green. Yeah, easy call. And the pace of play around the NBA steadily increasing. What do you think of that? Uh, well, I just think it's, it's the trend. I, I think that, you know, that's the style of play. You know, this league is a copycat league. And if you look at San Antonio, who's totally reinvented themselves and won a couple years ago, all the way to uh, the Splash Brothers, uh, who won a couple of years ago, uh, they play with a faster pace. And I think that you're starting to see uh, guys do that. I also think that the fact that the lineups are different. Now that you may see more small ball, that would automatically increase the pace uh, if you have faster players in there uh, at all times. So I think the fact that guys' skill set are becoming more rounded, which allows for teams to uh, have all skilled players on there, and it doesn't matter about certain heights and, and, and stats as far as body type goes, uh, I, I think it's going to be something uh, that lasts uh, for a long time. I mean, hey, it's good. As long as the defense uh, can still uh, play defense with integrity, um, 
as long as you don't take that away, uh, yeah, let the game go as fast as it can because uh, it just turns into some exciting plays for all of us fans. Yes. Gets it from three-point range. And that's 12 points for Clay Thompson. Oh, just the way Clay catches the ball. If he's already in the shoot motion, uh, you, 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 you're in trouble. Well, many have wondered if Clay Thompson would be happy being the second option on offense. He's a great enough shooter and scorer to be the first option on most other teams. He's a team player and says he's happy with his role and prefers winning over stats. Curry kicks to Thompson. From 11 feet away, doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Randolph. Feeds to Conley. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. It's tipped. Stolen by Randolph. And even three-on-three -three break. Conley dishes to Allen. And the lead is down inside single digits. Allen's got six. Here's Curry. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. Uh, Kevin, beyond the offense he provided, his steals rate was out of control. Terrific anticipation and hands to make plays all night long. Pachulia kicks to Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Pachulia, no luck. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Green, the pass to Conley. Now the feed to Daniels. Picked by Randolph. Daniels with it. Now Green defending. And here's Daniels. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Another miss by Conley. Warriors leading by nine. Thompson outside. Back to Pachulia. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. Nobody near Allen. No good on the shot. And Golden State will go the other way with it. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Thompson. Passes to Pachulia. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's getting harder and harder to become an NBA owner. Franchise values are skyrocketing. The league, Chris, as you know, has set limits on how many minority owners a team can have. 25 per team is the number. Uh, they each have to own at least 1%. Well, you know, there's only 30 of them, and the chance to make your impact on a franchise is just tremendously exciting. You know, we've seen in the past years where ownership groups could become very fragmented, so I definitely understand uh, that train of thought. Great perspective. McCaw, he's checked in for the Warriors. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Randolph. And it's Carter in for Daniels. And Pachulia drops them both. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for the Warriors. And they really feasted from beyond the arc. Quantity and quality. Boy, they filled it up. And when you can punish a defense like that from long range, it can be demoralizing. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Defense! 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 Now Allen... He's got six. Green with a screen for Allen. The pass to Green. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one on Thompson. Grizzlies have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Free throw drops for Green.
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Warriors leading by nine. Here's Curry. He has five. And the wide open shot from Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got six assists in the game. Now here is Conley. Good looking screen by Gasol. They set the pick. Six to shoot. Green against Conley. Fires from deep. And they force shot the shot violation. clock violation. Great team. All right, a moment to check out stats for Mike Conley. He's been dominant over the last month, averaging about 22 points per, six assists, and four rebounds. He has been terrific throughout, putting up some huge numbers offensively. Green, the screen. Thompson with it. Eight points his last outing. Here's the three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Gasol's got his third rebound tonight. Conley dishes to Allen. It's Vince Carter on the wing. Conley against Curry. From 11 feet away, it's stolen by Green. Out left to the wing. Curry can't get it to go. Ooh, can't believe he missed that one. I thought for sure that was going. Gasol. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And the Warriors making a change here. West is checked in. And that one misses. Warriors leading by nine. Curry with it. Conley picks him up. And Thompson kicks to Green. Dishes it to Curry. To the paint. Here's West. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Here now is the 2K leaderboard. Over the past month, these teams have tortured opponents defensively. The Warriors, number one. What a month they've had defensively. I mean, they've really got after it on that end of the floor. Two shots. First free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. That one is no good. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Allen kicks to Carter. AT that time from Curry. Outside, Green. Thompson against Allen. And Thompson kicks it to West. Gasol with the steal. Allen outside. Memphis moving that ball around. He dishes it to Conley. It's rebounded by Curry. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. He's going to have to shake that off and forget about it. got to stay confident in himself. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got seven points in the game. Uh, the feel Curry has for scoring inside always looks like he has the situation timeout, under control. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Start. And some changes here for the Warriors. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Draymond Green. Ian Clark comes in for Klay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. And the Grizzlies also with the sub. Harrison's checked in. And that'll be Memphis as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies retain possession.
to the inside. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Now look, playing with high energy inside, that always leads to a high percentage. Last to screen on Allen. Shot off the screen. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Clark's got his second bucket of the game to go. Uh, not really nice there. Poor technique on the screen, but savvy score move to save that trip down the floor. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. JaVale McGee's checked in for McCall. Gasol a screen. Down low. Tries from seven. It's rebounded by Golden State. Iguodala kicks to McGee from 10 feet out. That one wide left. The Grizzlies trail by 12. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. James Ennis, he'll check in for Memphis. throw good green Warriors leading by nine Iguodala the pass to Livingston Iguodala outside McGee a screen Iguodala kicks it to West and it goes out of bounds last touch by green Grizzlies making a switch here. Lights checked in. Knocked away. Stolen by Carter. Gasol passes to Harrison. He feeds it to right. Gasol a screen. And Wright kicks to Gasol. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. They are just killing him on the interior. The Warriors leading. Got a piece of it. Now here's Livingston. He's covered closely. Good on the bucket. Oh, and this is where Livingston makes his money. Tremendous mid-range game. Memphis has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Now, you got to love what Sean Livingston gives you as a point guard. He comes in, continues to run the offense, and setting up his teammates. He has a great back-to-the-basket game to get his points on the block as well. And as McGee hits off the key, fires from 14, does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Harrison passes to Gasol. A three-pointer off the mark. And with Livingston, he's absolutely deadly when posting up another point guard. Well, he doesn't take a lot of threes like his comrades, but he does feast when he brings the defender to the post. His huge height for a point guard, well, that just helps him get the shot off on a little smooth turnaround. It also helps him on the defensive end, as he's quick enough to stick with any position, one through three, but can use his length to disrupt passes. Got a hand on it. Gasol a screen. Harrison passes to Gasol. Just five on the clock. Shoots. Again, the miss by Gasol. Warriors leading by seven. Livingston kicks to McGee. The ten-footer. That one a little long. McGee's gone just one of five from the field. Right, the pass to Harrison. Back to right. Passes to Harrison. The Grizzlies with another miss. They were right up in his grill. Willie really gave him no breathing room to release that one clean. A minute 20 left to play here in the second quarter. McGee a screen. Here's West. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. 
West has got nine. Listen, there's really no defense for that. Great execution leads to the dead-eye turnaround jump. Right, sets a screen. Carter outside. Pass to Gasol. Right outside. Here's Harrison. Misses the three. Warriors leading by nine. As to Livingston. Tries to keep it alive. Not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity. Now, they have to get going here if they want to capitalize on that. Go for the quick bucket here. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. When he has the ball in his hands in transition, he always finishes strong, just like he did there. To the inside, Gasol with the steal. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. To the middle, here's Wright. Lays it up and banks it in. And that's a well-placed pass right there, right where his teammate can do something with it. And here's Livingston. Five points in the game. Kicks it to West. With two seconds left. It doesn't go for him. Total breakdown on defense there, but fortunately he missed out. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. The Warriors on top, up by five. And so here's Memphis. Trailing by five. The incredible shooting pair of Curry and Thompson in the backcourt. But Julia is out there with Draymond Green, and it's McCall in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Green, the screen. It's Curry outside. A shot, no good. Good work defensively by Conley. Thompson against Allen. He kicks it to Carter. Green, the screen. And it's Carter missing. Well, well, first, let's talk about the pick. That was as lazy of a screen as I've ever seen. You have to commit on it if you want to get your teammate open. Thompson misses. The Grizzlies trail by three. There's the dish to Allen. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. A floater. McCaw grabs the miss. The Warriors shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Outside Curry. Pachulia sets a screen for Thompson. Green passes to McCaw. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. McCaw has got seven points. Uh, always keeping his head up. Draymond rarely misses the open man. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, point guard Mike Conley has been a lefty dominant player his whole career, but off the court, he's actually right-handed. He first picked up a ball at 13 months of age, and he said, I just did it with my left hand for some reason. And ever since then, my mind felt it was left-handed when it came to basketball. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., similar to Greg Monroe. Five to shoot. Curry shot is off. Well, it's not the best start to this half. One for four is not the start they probably envisioned. Good looking screen by Gasol. Allen kicks to Carter. Wide open look. Thompson with the rebound. Well, he, he just looks off in this one. Can't seem to throw it in the ocean. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Feeds it to Green. The pass to Thompson. Green, the screen. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Pachulia. 14 points for Clay Thompson. No, don't sleep on Thompson inside. Efficiency in scoring, that's a big part of what makes him unique. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Green, the screen. Loose. Allen kicks to Green. Conley for three. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. 
And a chance now to review the shot chart. And every time he's pulled up from deep and, and let it fly, it's found a way to catch iron. Not sure if it is something with his release or the defense is bothering him on his threes, but I, I would expect him to attack the rim a bit just to kind of mix things up. Warriors leading by five. <laughs> Quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Warriors have shot six or seven at the line. The free throw drops for Pachulia. Matt Barnes has checked in for Golden State. Memphis also making some changes. Randolph comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Troy Daniels in for Vince Carter. And Pachulia drops them both. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Outside, Green. Picked by Randolph. Green dishes to Allen. Here's Randolph. Some teams live and die by the three. Let's check out the best. In third, the Warriors. No doubt, they have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. This is his second trip to the free throw line. An okay season at the free throw line for him so far, sitting right around 76%. Shoot two. And the first one drops. makes both free throws. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Outside Curry. Thompson up top. The feet to Pachulia. Back to Thompson. Green with the rebound. Green's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Down low, Randolph. And slam dunk by Randolph. He's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Now Curry. He's got seven. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Michael Conley picks one up. And with Steph winning another MVP award, the talk has now shifted from where he is as the best shooter of all time, Chris, to where he ranks among NBA greats. Well, and Ray Allen put it best when he spoke about Curry compared to guys like Allen and even Clay. Curry, by far, in my opinion, is a combination of the best shooter with the best handles that we've seen in this league. Most shooters are just stand still, catch and shoot guys, drive them off the three point line, force them to drive. With Curry, you got to pick your poison. He gets three pointers the old fashioned way as well the am one and both free throws good for curry we take for granted the magician like moves curry can pull off with the ball but Chris, it's something that he's worked on very hard his entire career. Curry has made leaps and bounds in his improvement with his ball handling. Arguably, with Uncle Drew, he is the best ball handler in this league at this point. He did a lot of drills dribbling tennis balls to up his field and handle on the court. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Pachulia. How his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging six points a game, six rebounds, and two assists. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. Up 
Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw good from Daniels. Both yeah. free throws good from Daniels. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Curry kicks to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Curry passes to Pachula. Back to Curry. Let's go. No good off the back of the rim. If he can find himself out there, his team will be in fantastic shape to get this win. This is the come. And another miss by Memphis. Now this would be a totally different ball game if this shot was on target like it used to be. That bucket in in no time at all. Thompson's got five points now this quarter. Uh, and, and, and for a guy who puts up huge scoring numbers almost on a nightly basis, plays on another planet right now. Green, the screen. Randolph, a screen on Barnes. Here's Daniels. And he's good on the three ball. Daniels has got eight points. And, and how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. I like that style. Lose three points, get them right back at the other end. That's good basketball. And it's Thompson again missing. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Oh, well, it's a product of good, patient offense. Great shot there. Now on against Barnes. And the wide open shot from Green. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Warriors leading by three. Here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. Barnes kicks to Pachulia. Rejected by Randolph. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Green. He's had an impressive second half of the season. Third in steals and such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. Right, he's checked in for Memphis. James Ennis comes in for Tony Allen. The Grizzlies trail by three. Now here's Conley with an average of around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been a constant for them. The Grizzlies with another miss. Curry kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. Right through the D for the layup. Thompson's got 19 points. Oh, and, and there, just the wingspan of Thompson. He's not just tall for the two guard. He has plus limp. Curry against Conley. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Can't capitalize inside. His shot is not on target right now. He, he better figure this out fast. Green dishes to Curry. They set the pick. He feeds it to Barnes. Offline with his three. The Grizzlies trail by five. Right the pass to Conley. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Barnes. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. He dishes it to Iguodala. Outside Conley. He's covered by Iguodala. Back to Conley. Randolph kicks to Daniels. Six on the shot clock. Inside. Right dishes to Conley. Shoots the three. Barnes grabs the miss. Warriors leading by five. Thompson outside. Oh, good on the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Right with a screen on green. Conley kicks to right. They set the screen. Passes to Randall. A jump hook, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. 
Randolph's got six points in the quarter. Golden State's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Conley, and Thompson sends it back. Oh, he hasn't been much of a shot blocker in his career, but Clay denies that. Curry against Conley. Takes the 13-footer, and the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to right. Down low, here's Randolph. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Randolph's got nine. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out. Curry, good. Oh, because of his quick release, so difficult to close up space on Curry. And so it's Memphis with it. Four-point game. Conley with it. Pass to Daniel. To the inside. Here's Randolph. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Barnes. Here's Green. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Grizzlies trail by four. One fifty-three left in the third quarter. Conley kicks to Randall. Drains it from beyond the arc. Just an average shooter from range. Squares up nicely on that one. Golden State's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. And here is Curry. 12 points for him. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And Draymond Green is such a unique player in every sense of the word. He lines up as a power forward or center most of the time, but is often running the offense. He can act as a point center for this team for long stretches of time. This is his first free throw of the game. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. And with Draymond and his playmaking, a lot of it isn't just his ball handling, Chris. He's one of the best decision makers as well in the NBA. And his huge assist numbers have proven that. Not just huge for his position, just big in general. Draymond gained the confidence of coaches with his decision making, and they've given him more and more leeway on the court to make plays. Now, for all the things he does on the floor, the one thing you keep coming back to with Draymond Green is his defense. He's just a spectacular defender in every sense of the word. There is a reason many feel he's the best defender in the league or at least in the top three. The basket counts good. and one. will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Up? And with Draymond's defense, he's finished second in the Defensive Player of the Year awards a couple times now. Think about this. With Draymond, it just isn't how he defends. It's also who he defends. He can honestly defend any player on the court, one through five, and does it as well as anyone. He allows the Warriors to get away with so many lineups because they use him as a valuable defender who can switch off. Kicks it out to Iguodala. A three-pointer off the mark. And even without that three-ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Good-looking screen by Gasol. That drive by Carter. It's stolen by Green. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. With this break in the action, here's a look at the teams that have blocked the most shots in the NBA this last month. The Warriors, number one. They have been racking up the blocks lately. I mean, if they keep this up, they're going to be a very difficult matchup for anybody. Harrison passes to Gasol. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Gasol's got four this quarter. Teamwork at his finest. Love the extra pass. 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Good on the three-point shot. Oh, you had to close out hard on Dollar. He's made himself a true threat from the out yard. Here's Harrison. He averages a bit over six points a game. Outside Gasol. 
at the elbow Randolph shot clock at five good and the assist goes to Gasol Gasol's got his fourth assist in this one third quarter here and five lead changes so far and guys neither team has been able to pull away three quarters of play in a close game here Grizzlies lead by one and coming up as soon as we return from break the fourth quarter gets underway great shot right right now is when we talk on every screen down here and switch and, and ice and all the stuff we do on point that's Steve Kerr this is what his teams do they take away a lot of easy shots easy baskets yeah you, you heard him ice the screens communicate give me everything you've got defensively we welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Down low, the tough pair of Zebo and Gasol. Harrison out there with Allen, and it's Carter in at the small forward. Now, here's Livingston. Not a lot of room. Shoots, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Now, this game is coming down to the wire, and rush plays like that show how much pressure the players out there really feel. Memphis leading. Down low. Kicks it out to Al. The pass to Harrison. Here's the screen. Here's Randolph. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Iguodala. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. It's deflected. Stolen by Randolph. Last break, Memphis. Up the floor. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Yeah, the defender all over good on that one. <laughs> and that trip coming up empty missing both team where you have so many options Chris in a late game situation they still lean on Andre Iguodala down the stretch now he struggles with free throws at times but when he needs to make him down the stretch he can knock him down and he's known to come up with huge defensive plays to close games out no question he got bumped on that shot And he knocks down the first one. Oh, he turns it up. And though Iguodala has become a long-range shooting threat, he still managed to struggle from the line. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors, Matt Barnes has checked in for McCaw. And it's Stephen Curry in for Ian Clark. <laughs> and both free throws good for Iguodala. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Harrison. Over in the corner, Allen. Here's Gasol. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. <laughs> Shot 
shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, well, he's been at the line so often tonight, but only just now is he starting to look comfortable. Green, he's checked in for Zach Randolph. Gasol hits them both. And he hasn't had his usual rhythm thus far from the line. I think he's getting back into it with those two. Takes it to Livingston. Nobody near Barnes. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And the Warriors lead by two. The Grizzlies shooting 41% for the game. Harrison outside green Gasol passes to Harrison Gasol a screen to the middle up off the screen clearly a foul First free throw is good. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. Mike Conley's checked in for the Grizzlies. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Barnes outside looking for Pachulia he gets it there with the second effort so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there yeah the defender all over one falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. An uneven trip to the line, but they do come away up by one. Left side. That's the three fly. And that's good. Michael Conley for three. And the Grizzlies lead by two. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Barnes, screen on Allen. Thompson dishes do a good out. Lock at six. Buried from 15 feet out. Iguodala has got four points in the quarter. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Now here is Conley. Allen outside. Gasol. Oh, the officials are all over that. Green, he's checked in for Golden State. And that one falls for Marcus Hall. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And that puts him right around 90 from the free throw line. Really good work here in the second half. Curry kicks to Thompson. Barnes screen on Allen. Barnes outside. Warriors the rebound. Green. And fouled hard that time. No 
get to the line and shoot two. They get Marcus Gasol. I mean, uh, just the ultimate glue guy. Green's strongest asset may be his ability to contribute across the board. Two shots. He's off on the first. We knew that Clay is one of the most explosive scorers in the game. That much was clear, Chris, when he put up his record setting 37 points in the quarter. And attention to all defenders. With Clay, it doesn't matter what you do if he is in that zone. He is tall enough not to be bothered by the hands in his face and can just drill a shot from anywhere. That's why he's a danger to put up 20 or more points in the quarter every time he takes the floor, just like his other splash brother. Outside, Green. Back to Conley. Gasol, a screen on Green. Baseline J. There's Allen. That's good on the assist from Conley. Eight points for Allen. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, even if they don't come away with the win, they still have to be satisfied with how they made this game. Outside Curry. He kicks it to Barnes. Golden State needs to get off a shot. He gets it in there. Uh, uses so many devices to get his shot. I mean, that time, Curry on the catch and shoot. Carter with it. Good looking screen by Gasol. Takes the 13 footer. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. That is phenomenal work down there in the thick of it. This is the kind of D you want to see from him every time down the court. There's the dish to Conley. Iguodala against Allen. To the paint. Here's Gasol. And Chan shot, and the layup is good. Gasol's got the lead up to four now for Memphis. With every shot he makes, the defense only gets more and more flustered. What a showing by him. Thompson outside. Feeds to Green. Back to Thompson. Count it. Good. Thompson's got nine points now in just the second half. He buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. Man, he shines when it matters most. They love getting him the rock in key situations like that. It's stolen by Green. And here is Curry to tie it up. A tan short, but it's good off the front iron. Thompson's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Now, one of the top pure shooters in the game. Clay can score from anywhere. Kicks to Allen, and there's the feet to Gasol. Memphis moving it around. Conley gets the bucket. And hey guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Iguodala against Carter. Here's Iguodala. On the wing, Thompson. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And this is the concentration Thompson exhibits. I mean, if you're going to foul him, you have to foul him hard. And that drops, so they now lead by one. For Memphis, they've gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Allen kicks to Carton. Inside, here's Conley. 
And Mike Conley, one of the best all-around floor generals in the league. Extremely efficient, typically makes the right pass rather than going for the spectacular one. He, he does a good job of avoiding turnovers. And, and for that slight frame, only about 175 pounds, he's as tough as they come. And plus, what I love is look at the gradual progression over the course of his career that he's made. That tells you he's the consummate pro. shots good from the strike and yet just another thing he does well he just has a certain feel for this game Warriors have gone six and nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter Curry kicks to Thompson and foul called as he misses he'll go to the line and shoot two talk a lot about Conley's playmaking abilities also become a pretty darn good score yeah you love a player who continues to develop his skill set and Kevin Conley was a shaky outside shooter coming into the league he fixed that he's refined everything from his pick and roll game to that little right hand floater in the paint you, you go over to the defensive side of the ball and Conley has always been a difference maker you know, he was the 11th pick in the 2011 draft, and I, and I think it's safe to say that Thompson has outplayed the spot where he was selected. And so Thompson nails both of them. Here's Conley. At the elbow, it's Gasol from 13. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Iguodala's got four rebounds now tonight. To the middle, here's Green, and Green slams it in. I mean, you have to love the awareness of her sick look to find him over two. Conley kicks to Allen to the left wing. Here's Gasol. The Grizzlies with another miss. Oh, he couldn't have asked for a better look there. He just didn't get it to go. Thompson outside. There's the pick. Now Kirk. Shot clock at six. And he overshot that one, missing. Great looking defense, really, just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Uh, they made that possession super uncomfortable. And as a result, they got the stop they needed. Carter outside. Inside. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Oh, I love the anticipation on that play. Might have stolen it if... He were there just about a half a step soon. A call. He's checked in for Barnes. And Memphis also making a switch. Zach Randolph, he's checked in for Green. Randolph with the ball. Now Green defending. The Grizzlies with another miss. Warriors leading by three. Iguodala, the pass to Green. It's Curry outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. To the inside, out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. What an awful decision there. No reason that turnover should have taken place. Warriors have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Green, the screen. Thompson is double. Right side, Green. Iguodala outside. Golden State moving it around. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. 16 points for Steph Curry. Big bucket. That's how you do it if you're Steph Curry. Now here is Conley. Dishes it to Gasol. Here's Randolph. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And it goes on Draymond Green. They are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. 
Free throw good, Randolph. Zach Randolph drops them both. Okay, he's definitely trying to take it to the D in the second half. Trying to get to that line. Outside Curry. He feeds it to Thompson. Thompson is double. Back to Curry. 13 feet away. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. 18 points for Steph Curry. Oh, and that's money he makes from out beyond the arc. Curry is just as deadly from mid-range. Side Randolph. 11 feet away. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. No question. He got bumped on that shot. One falls for. Second free throw, no good. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. McCall. No good with the triple. The Grizzlies trail by four. And Randolph now top of the key. but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. Green, the screen. It's up a three. Again, Curry missing. Uh, I'm sure the D has no issue whatsoever with him taking those threes, but he isn't hitting anything from out there. Conley dishes to Randolph. The score is a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Works for looking close. That's just an excellent effort. Green with a screen on cover. Pass to McCaw. Fires the three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And the Warriors lead by four. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. Conley with it. Outside Randolph. Call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Three. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. The Warriors making a switch here. McAdoo's checked in. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. Second one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Golden State's gone a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Curry gets to McAdoo. Money! Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down.
He throw good McAdoo. Oh, and he caps that off in style. He gets the finish with the harm. Huge possession there to extend the lead. Randolph in the post. He's covered by Iguodala. It's good! And now they trail by just four. And a sloppy D there. You can't let him get the ball in his hands down there. That's just a total breakdown on defense. Man, there's no reason why he should be allowed to catch the ball that close to the basket. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's the screen. For the three. Some solid defense from Randolph. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Carter, the pass to Randolph. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And the two-time league MVP, Steph Curry, one of only two active guys to win the MVP more than once in well over a decade. And he cannot convert on the second. Timeout. That misses. Timeout. Now a timeout Sorry. called by Memphis. They need a quick bucket here. This is big. Huge. And now they decide to foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. At the line of fours, Stephen Curry. He has two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're losing by seven. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And, and look, this one's out of reach. I don't know what they're thinking with this time. Oh, it feels like Coach may be making a statement to his guys. Until there's zero chance to come back, I'm going to play this thing out. Nine seconds left in the game. Knocks down the trifecta. Here's Clark, and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. Time out, time out. It's a six-point ball game. Confidence at the line. Putting the final touch on a good win. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're behind by six. Just four seconds left to play here in the fourth.
Conley for three. No good. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, are just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Clay, what is the key to the way you play tonight? Well, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now, and my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open, so all credit goes to them. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. And they found the shooter, and he shot. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. Now it's time to head back to the studio with Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. What more can you say about Steph Curry? The man has done it again tonight. He is the most electrifying shooter in the history of the game. I'm going to say it right now. In the history of the game. He is a leader, and his will to win is unparalleled. He took charge of the offense tonight. He had a ton of assists, and a lot of them were highlight reel passes. I mean, old school passes. He was initiating plays, setting guys up. They had a ton of easy baskets because this guy can see everything on the court. Eagle eye. All right, all right. And that is the end of our broadcast for this evening. I Why'd sound like an old voice? 1940s guy, don't oh, I? That's the end it. of our broadcast for this evening. Kenny Ernie, for Ken me. Smith and Shaq O'Neal.